Hello everyone, it's Mark and Diane. Welcome to our channel. Today's project is going to be putting expanded metal on the tailgate of a little trailer we have, a little utility trailer. Uh, when we got the trailer, the bed is covered with expanded metal, but the tailgate never was. And it makes it kind of a pain rolling stuff up and down it. Plus, uh, walking up and down it, you step between the bars and fall through. So, uh, today's goal is to repair that problem. So, uh, this is the trailer behind us. You can see the tailgate. And then you can see the expanded metal in the floor of the trailer too. So let's get started. Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to be using the Eastwood VersaCut 60. Um, this is a really economical, nice little plasma cutter. Um, we do have the um, plasma table, but unfortunately, due to some wiring issues, we cannot um, use the air compressor and the plasma cutter at the same time. So I'm going to have to do this by hand. Um, as I already took the measurements and I've, I've marked a line on here as to where I need to cut. So um, I'm just going to get started. Okay, the next thing we're going to have to do is uh, Diane's going to have to grind all that paint off the back side of this so we got a good clean metal to weld to. And um, I originally I was wanting to cut the tailgate in half and hinge it so it would fold down. Anybody that pulls a trailer like this will know how much wind resistance uh, that tailgate creates. You wouldn't think it would, but it makes a huge difference. And what I found is, because this tailgate sticks up four foot above the trailer, it acts like a big windbreak. And even without the expanded metal in it, just the bars, you can tell a big difference going down the highway between uh, pulling the trailer and not having it behind the truck. And, and even now putting expanded metal on it's gonna make it even worse. And, and the weird thing is what I've noticed is it doesn't pull any harder when I load it down. If I have stuff that stacks up as tall as the tailgate or not quite as tall as the tailgate, it doesn't pull any harder. And that's telling me that that wind resistance is more than the weight of what I'm putting in the trailer as far as uh, the drag on the truck itself. So my, my plan was to cut this in half and make a hinge where it fold down and that wouldn't stick up near as high when you're, when you're towing empty. And I think it'd make a big difference in gas mileage and, and just the, the power it takes to pull it down the highway. But looking at it right now, it's going to be a little more complicated than I originally thought to do that because it's got support bars on the underneath side of the, the tailgate. So for now, I'm just going to put the expanded metal on, see how much of a difference that makes from just the way it is now and with expanded metal on it, towing down the highway empty. And if I can tell a big difference, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and hinge it so it can fold down, so it'll be a little less wind resistance going down the road. So uh, I'll keep you posted on how that works out.
Okay, so I'm here working and I turn and I look up and I have to show you what I see here. Mark leaning against the toolbox, supervising eating an apple. <laughs> it's a rough job, but somebody's got to do it, right? All I can say is something is wrong with this picture. <laughs> I don't see any problem at all. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got the expanded metal positioned on the tailgate, and now we're going to weld it. And Diane, I think she's making a mistake, <laughs> but she thought it was a good idea to make this into a competition. So we're both going to be welding on at the same time, and we'll see who gets the most done on it. I, I have no doubt who's going to win this, but uh, I'm going to. Well, if you want to sleep in the house tonight, um, I'm pretty sure who's going to win this. Okay. Well, I, I know how the last competition turned out. Uh, uh, she beat me by default because my mower broke down. So she uh, she got the uh, winning prize of getting to finish the rest of the yard. So I don't know who really was the winner there. I'm I'm kind of thinking I might have come out ahead on that deal. But anyway, uh, we're going to be using two different welders here. I'll show you what we're going to be using. I'm going to be using the Eastwood MIG 175. Again, it's a very economical machine to purchase, and it, so far it's worked great for us. Uh, it's, it's a nice little welder. So I'm gonna be using that one. And Diane is gonna be using our Miller, Millermatic 252. Uh, again, Miller makes a really nice machine. It's a lot more expensive than the Eastwood, but uh, for what we're gonna use these for, they're both gonna work just as good. So I'll get down here and we'll get started and may the best man win. Go ahead and start. I'll let you, I'll let you know if you start going ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can ask to be fair.
Okay, I, I think it was a tie. We'll let you decide. Put in your comments who you think the winner was. I'm just saying it's so cold, I don't know. Okay, we'll get it cleaned up and painted, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit and show you the finished product. Okay, we're back. We've got it all finished now. It's all painted. Looks really nice. Works great. Uh, it was so much nice, nicer than it was before. Before you'd walk up there, and if you missed just right, your foot would slide down through, plus rolling stuff in and out. It was real pain. So uh, that's the finished product. So we hope you had a good time enjoying watching the video. Um, we're going to leave it up to you guys to determine who won the contest. I, I think it was me, but I, I don't want to be partial. So if you guys want to put in comments down below who you think won the, the welding contest, uh, and then we'll let you know in a future video who the winner was. Um, it'll probably be me, but any, anyway, we'll, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> okay, um, do you want to close this out? Yeah, please like and subscribe our videos. And like I said, put any comments below on who the winner is. And um, hope to see you again in the future. Bye.